Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I posted a video yesterday that some Windows 10 insiders in the release preview channel uh, were getting offered and getting the Windows 11 22H2 feature update um, on unsupported devices. And according to recent reports on Reddit, um, like where this screenshot was taken from, some users on unsupported hardware in the release preview channel for Windows 10 were being offered the upgrade as well. And this upgrade uh, for this user was offered on his unsupported um, device that was running an Intel Core R5 7200U CPU, which is an unsupported uh, CPU and processor. And um, this is just a quick video just to let you know that this is indeed a bug and an accidental bug, according to uh, Microsoft. And um, uh, this was allowing the um, unsupported devices to be offered the update. And in the Windows Insider Program, um, on the Windows Insider Program uh, Twitter page, uh, Microsoft has announced um, uh, late yesterday, on the 8th of June, that it was a bug, and the right team is investigating it. Thanks for notifying. And then they post a little bit later, uh, this, the requirements have not changed. We're looking into the scenario. Thank you for sharing. So, as I mentioned yesterday, this is a basically a glitch in the matrix, so to speak, over at Microsoft, and unsupported devices will not be getting the feature update rolling out um, uh, when it does make its way to stable and also currently in the uh, release preview channel. And that's for devices, Windows 10 devices that not that don't meet the minimum system requirements to run Windows 11. So um, according to Microsoft, this um, does indicate now that unsupported devices will not be offered uh, security updates um, like it was thought they were going to be offered this coming patch Tuesday next week. And uh, um, uh, just a, a heads up, if you are in the release preview channel and your unsupported device was updated uh, to Windows 11 version 22H2, you have 10 days to roll back um, on your un unsupported device and if you don't roll back uh, within that time frame you will then be forced to do a clean install with Windows 10 and that means you're going to have to start all over again so that's just a heads up so that was just a bug a glitch in the matrix so to speak over at Microsoft and is a non-event so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one